Okay. You were working as a journalist in the 70s. What are your recollections of Black Wednesday? No, uh, just a point of correction. I was not working as a journalist around that time. I was uh, overseas. I had already gone into exile. Mm -hmm. uh, but in commemoration of the Black Wednesday of 1900, ICASA dips its banner in honor of the 1976-77 class of journalists. The courage, commitment, and bravery they displayed, and the price they paid for telling the story of our people during those days is extremely important. And I'm referring here to the late Percy Koboza, Agri Cluster, Tamima Zwai, Joe Kolwe, and Don Matera, to mention a few. They all played a significant role uh, in continuing this story. And because they continued these stories, we who were in exile uh, could not have returned had that story been told. Mm -hmm. And even those, they would still be loitering in that dim mood of distress if the story was not told by these journalists. Now, almost 20 years of media freedom. Do you think we still have some way to go in terms of how we regulate media and how the media conducts itself? We uh, now even have a, a bigger story to tell mm -hmm. because uh, our youth who were not part of that, uh, of that uh, episode need to know where we come from in order for them to uh, focus on where this country can be taken. A lot of people who are living, who were active along those lines during those days, are now living in borrowed times. Mm -hmm. So if they die without that story being fully told, it would be disaster for this country because we'll be reinventing the wheel without realizing that we are doing what was done before. By, and then those uh, heroes will become unheralded heroes because the continuity of what they have done will be lost. That was Dr. So, Stephen Mube uh, coming to us live from our parliamentary studios. Unfortunately, we've run out of time. He is, of course, the chairperson of ICASA.